Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. It's Caroline and welcome to my channel Caroline Kate. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this a bunch of outfits that I got from Forever 21 and H&M. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I'm showing you this awesome bright yellow and white polka dot top and paired with the like a blue kimono. Both items I purchased from Forever 21. The skirt I have on is an old skirt I have from Charlotte Russe. It's one of the prettiest outfits together. Um, basically the lookbook is going to be showing you how I mix up a bunch of looks together. Um, just with the same items over and over again. I really love the kimono looking kit. As you can tell, you will see this kimono a lot of times in this video. So this is also the yellow shirt again with a little camisole or spaghetti top and some satin pants that I got from H&M and oh my gosh, I love the fit, love um, H&M pants and also a necklace and earrings from my um, jewelry line that I have, which I currently have a 50% off sale going on right now. And of course I had to bring back the blue kimono, I mean, it's a blue kimono, what more do you need? So I'm just giving you a close up, I'm also wearing this micro twist braid wig um, and just put up I just put it up in a side ponytail I have a video on how to make your um, braid wig look like this and it's pretty simple and once again I'm just showing you how to use the blue kimono all over again I really really liked the look I just felt like it was very effortless and yet still classy and of course in every outfit I have to show you that it's easy to dance in because why not? Um, so, first of all, excuse um, my light rod to the left there, um, but I'm just coming back and I'm showing you just how versatile the kimono looks and how versatile these items are. Of course, I know my pants are unbuttoned. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that they weren't like pull-on pants, that they were actually like hook and clip pants. So you can see how easily it closes. There's a zipper down the middle, and I love the hint of like the red stripe down the top. Of course, I'm dancing. The pants are dance approved, just in case you were wondering. But I really, 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 really love these pants. I just think the look with like a white um, camisole and this kimono is super classy. I don't know for me, you're gonna see me tie the kimono up in a couple little looks, but I like it better open. And of course, I have to come back with the yellow polka dot top. A really classy necklace. I'm gonna list down all the items down be below by look from the jewelry to the hair and to the items that I bought. Look at how long and luscious those braids are. They're like micro twists, micro twists um, with like a lace closure. So I will tell you though, the thing I didn't like about the shirt is that it's not really movement, you know, approved. And oh my gosh, this was one of my favorite looks. It was this um, jumpsuit from Forever 21, the most comfortable thing ever. It was cotton, it was breathable. I felt like Josephina, you know, because um, Joseph had the coat of many colors, but Josephina has a jumpsuit of multicolors. Now, this is the thing with the jumpsuit. Because it's like a drop waist, you kind of have to be mindful of where you put it because you're going to make it look, it's going to seem, depending on your body shape, your breast size, where your waist hits, you have to adjust it to fit you. It, even though it has a tie with a rope down the middle, it also has a zipper down the side to help with putting it on. And of course, I have to bend, stretch my legs in it, raise my arms up. This item was so comfortable, like super comfortable. It, if you're like average height, like I am about 5'6", it's gonna be super long. However, if you're 5'10 and above, it will not touch the floor. It may just graze right past your ankles or at your ankles. So you wanna be cautious about that. Of course, I have it paired with more Carolyn Kate jewelry. And of course, this wig, which is a carrot kinky curly wig. Now, boom. You know, I have to switch up again on the wig with the jewelry because this shirt is, um, this gorgeous shirt is also from H&M. I believe it's titled the, it's like a white lace shirt with this awesome neckline that you can fold over a little high up and a nice detail around the wrist as well. I want to see, show you guys what it looked like tucked in. And of course, you gotta dance in it again. Um, it's really, I thought it went really well with the pants and you can change the look just depending on what kind of camisole you want on the inside. So I really like see-through lace tops. 
thought it was gorgeous, especially with the necklace, the green made the whole thing pop together. And I thought the red was a nice look because they had a red stripe on the pants, red um, camisole, and red pop in stretch and dance and bending approved all items were so i really like that and of course i had to bring the blue kimono i mean like I, I couldn't help it at this point you can tell i have a problem but i think the look is absolutely effortless it's like wig snatching awesome so Again, I said to go ahead and pair this top with the same look, but I paired it with a leather skirt that I have. It's just not a new purchase, unfortunately. It's something I've had for a few years. <laughs> so yes, I, I honestly, I couldn't help myself. It was late at night and I was playing music and I had to just jam away and stay awake. This is what the top looks like untucked. Um, it's for me, since I'm kind of slim, I don't really like the looks I like that pretty tucked in. Now I'm going to go ahead and pair it with another duster, which is like white and red stripe. I like it, but because the lace top was cream, it just, I felt like it, it didn't make the look pop as much, but we're going to work it. We're going to work it, honey. Spin, honey. Spin. <laughs> okay. We're done now. Um, or not. I will let you know that the duster is also dance approved. I checked for you. No need to worry. Um, I really like to style my duster in different ways, you know, over the shoulders, tied with the rope that they give with it. I wanted to also show you that it has slits on both sides, which I thought was pretty cool. And it helps make it really flowy. And also what I like is that it's also loose enough and stretch approved. So this is how you're going to walk in on um, when you get your tax return and they don't know how you know how to act. Bounce, 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 baby. So uh, I really like the look as you can tell. One more time for the haters. Another time for the haters. All right, so of course I had to switch the look up. Okay, now you can still rock this duster with the camisole. I thought I'd pair it with a red camisole just to kind of bring up the red. And a fitted skirt or a fitted pair of jeans. I mean, I just, I love when pieces are versatile and you can work them in different ways. As you can tell, I'm absolutely loving the look. Um, it. You can wear the duster off shoulder and kind of strike the pose a little bit. Um, and once again, the look <laughs> was obviously that to prove. Now, this was like 2 a.m. in the morning, and I just realized that I didn't have my wig on. This is what happens when you keep trying to change your wig with your looks. But we fixed that problem. And um, so I thought I'd give you guys a different look. Once again, the blue kimono is a hit back to back. Okay, I paired this with this camisole jersey dress and the same gorgeous trifecta envy necklace from Carolyn Kate. Duh! I thought the look was really nice. I just thought it was super chill and classy. The camisole dress also goes well with the duster. So, I mean, I really like that if you're gonna buy pieces, you should be able to work them over and over and over again in different ways with different looks. I'm just trying to hide my little food baby that I've got hiding there for you guys. Thank you for watching.